Alrighty, folks, it's Farrell with Crowd Turfing. We've ventured all the way to Tremonton. We are here, uh, they're doing a Trump train. They're driving from Tremonton to St. George. So they're, per <laughs> I can't even talk, it's so cold, to show uh, their support for Donald Trump. So we thought we'd come down and talk to some people. And hey, if there's a, uh, a Biden campaign or a Biden rally, by all means, please get a hold of us. We'd love to come talk to you. Um, we like to see both sides of things. So uh, sit down and uh, check it out. Can I get your name? Brian Owens. And Brian, what is it that you're doing out here today? Well, we organized the uh, Utah I-15 Trump train. We thought it'd be a great idea. Um, take it from the top to the bottom. Just give people an opportunity to get on, get off, and really express their views. I mean, it really kind of comes from uh, an experience with a friend who just said, you know what, I'm really frustrated right now. I don't feel like my voice can be heard. I don't know what to do. I'm extremely frustrated. And then we just kind of got talking a few of us and we just said, you know what, let's just organize it. I mean, there've been a number obviously of smaller ones here and there and on the water, but we just said, let's take it from the top of Utah to the bottom of Utah. Let's give everybody that feels like that the opportunity to jump in and just have their voice heard in, in whatever way they can kind of contribute. We thought this is a good way to do that. Imagine all the places in the world we find Commissioner Summers here to Trump rally. How you been? Hey, I've been good. How have you guys been? We're, we've been all right. So I saw on the Facebook, maybe it was Instagram, about this this Trump train. So I thought he'd come down here and check it out. I don't know much about it. What do you know? Hey, all I know is that everybody up here uh, is voting for Trump and we're going to do the Trump train from here to St. George. and. I'll tell you, most of these people up here have been here every Sunday for probably about the last, I don't know, six, eight weeks. Mm -hmm. Last week was 111 people up here, and they got on. And I know there's friends of mine and county commissioners signing on to the, the Trump rally from here to St. George. So get on the freeway and show your support, and let's get this guy elected again. All right, do you get your guys' names? I'm Nate. I'm Spencer. And what did you guys come down here to do today? We came here to, to sell some merch. We're trying to support the cause here, the Trump train. So what, what does he have for sale? So we got some flags, we got bills. I personally like the bills a lot. Check out these bills. We got coins, some hats, some socks. Here we got some socks. We're sporting the socks today. <laughs> We're repping it all. So I know here at the Box Hill County Fairgrounds on Sundays, they get together and have a big rally. Have you come down and been a part of that at all? I have not yet. I just, uh, and we've been trying to reach out with them. Just honestly, life's taken over and um, I got, uh, anyway, yeah, just work. Sometimes life gets in the way of the stuff you want to do, you know? It is, it is absolutely true. <laughs> and, it, and it just is, and but, you know, and so I felt like that's an, a great contribution. You know, when they come through, we're there honking, we're waving, we're happy. I love that they're doing that as well. Um, and we just thought, let's contribute in just a little bit bigger way. We just, yeah, we love what those guys are doing. It's, it's a big deal and, and we appreciate it. So they're just gonna drive from here all the way to St. George. Yeah. Well, and then back, right? <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know if Victor Iverson down there in St. George would keep us, but I've, it's warmer down there, so we might want to be able yeah. to do that. So it's a little chilly this morning. It is a little chilly. So do you, do you come out every Sunday, or just come out once in a while? And I've been out here once in a while. Um, you know my thing at home. So yeah, yeah. So we just do what we can to be able to get this out. All of it. So. You guys gonna drive all the way to St. George? We're gonna follow the Trump train all the way. Huh? We're gonna follow him. Yep. And then every stop, you can you can sell some stuff. That's what that's the goal. So why why Donald Trump for president? Why Donald Trump, Spence? Why not? He's the man. He's the man. <laughs> He's our guy. So you guys are all about Trump. We're all about Trump. Obviously, right? With all the things. We're all about Trump. We've been with him since the beginning. Right on. Alrighty, guys. Well, hey, thanks so much for talking with me. I appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you. So do you have any idea of how many people are supposed to show up today? Any count at all, a rough estimate? No idea. Many as you can get. Many as we can get. We've got, <laughs> we had 1,500 people join the page. Um, I've, got, I've got responses from people saying they're gonna join all through the state. Some people saying we can't join, but we're gonna be on the overpasses waving as you come through. So we're just excited to see what happens. And, and to be honest with you, it's back to what I said, it's a way for me to express my opinions. The media is not gonna 
call me up and ask my opinion. And so it's a way for me to just kind of be able to get it out and express myself and what I believe and what I feel. And, and that's that's really so. If it's if it's a thousand, great. If it's a hundred, great. We People just keep honking. We love oh, this guy comes yeah, in honking. Absolutely. <laughs> we actually had a representative from the White House up in Brigham City this Tuesday um, for the Opportunity Zone. And I'm telling you what, if you don't think that Trump knows where Brigham City, Utah, and Box Other County is, you're mistaken because the man knows. I'm telling you that right now. He cares about rural, medium, um, Utah Americans, middle Americans. He, he, I mean, if you watched the debate the other night, it looks like uh, 100,000 jobs, oil jobs are going by the wayside if we don't get this guy reelected. You know, green energy is great, I says, but it's 50 to 100 years down the road. So let's, let's continue to do what we do, put people back to work, have the lowest um, rate of unemployment ever, and let's get this guy reelected. Right on. All right, well, there seems to be a lot of support. People are honking as they're driving by, so I guess I'll walk around and talk to some other people, but uh, thanks for your time. Hey, thanks for coming up. Appreciate you guys. Good to see you again. All righty, I'm going to try to get everybody's name. Can I get your name? Uh, Cash. I'm Kellen. I'm Sally. I'm Arwen. I'm Esme. I'm Ruby. And the question I have is, are you guys going to go vote? If I could, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. There, there's a rule about you got to be 18 and... Yeah. So are you guys going to ride all the way to St. George? Oh, yeah. That's all, right. oh. all of you are? Yes. Are. <laughs> so the question of the day that I have for you, I guess. Yes. Um, why Trump? Why Trump? I, I love what he's done for the country. Frankly, I love that he's not a politician. I love that he says what's on his mind. I, people say that's a bad thing. They say, well, he's not presidential. I, what is presidential? You know, is presidential standing up, not getting anything done year after year after year? Well, okay, if that's presidential, then I do want somebody else. Can I get your name? Mike Knorr. And Mike, what is it that you come out here for today? Well, you know, I come out here to support Republicans, President Trump. President Trump's done a lot for our country, and our country's in trouble. And we have to just make a showing to prove I don't know, just to get more people involved and aware of what's going on and maybe they'll look into it and see that things need to change or stay the same, really, <laughs> really need to stay the same. Like this girl right here, don't mean to, don't mean to uh, call you out, but you seem like you're probably the youngest. No? We're the same age. You're the same age? Oh, well. I get, anyway, before I get myself in trouble. All the way, I would be bored. I'm like, oh, man. No? Oh. What are you guys going to do? Um, watch movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you could, you could do that too, right? Or maybe honk the horn or wave at people on the side of the road, huh? Yep. <laughs> They're going to wave all to everyone. I look at it this way, to be honest with you. I have some absolutely fantastic friends. Do I agree with all of their choices, the way they behave, the way they live their life, the way that they express themselves? I don't, but I still love them. And I still appreciate what they do and what they contribute to my community, to my to the relationship with me. And I view Trump a lot the same way. He's effective. Um, he's been great for the economy. He supports our military, supports our law enforcement. I feel like he imposes, or he represents, I should say, he represents the values of America to me better than, frankly, Biden in a long ways. And so I don't expect him to be polished. I expect him to get stuff done. And I'll take that all day long over people that think that they should look a certain way or act a certain way. I'd rather have people get stuff done for the country that's good for us. Right on. Alrighty. Well, hey, good luck with your run. I hope we get some more people out here. Uh, looks like people are still filing in. Yep. So, yep. Alrighty, we're well, I'm leaving at 10. So we said we're going to gather from 9 to 10 and then we'll hit at 10 on the dot. We'll get on the get on the road and get hauling through. So right on. Well, enjoy. Thank you. What do you think these kind of things accomplish? Well, to me, it's it's uh, visibility and awareness and uh, support. The more people that see you supporting the cause, maybe they're on the fence. They're thinking, you know, there's a lot of people right there. Maybe. Maybe I ought to look into what's going on and really take it seriously instead of just the point of view of, oh, I've always been a Democrat or I, I don't know. There's a lot of mindsets out there that I don't understand. <laughs> well, maybe you can change a couple, huh? I, I don't know. I, I, I'm just trying to influence anybody that all, at all just by, you know, support. Support in numbers. Alrighty, well, hey, thank you so much for talking to me. I appreciate it. Thanks. Oh, yeah? You guys should get those little 
air horns they have for like boats and hold them out the window, right? That'd be sick. We should. We should have. Good idea. Yeah. Look, Jake. Well, just say what you just said again. That's a good idea. R right before that. I don't know what I said. You said that's smart. Oh, that's very smart. No one's ever called me smart, especially when the camera's rolling, so I appreciate that. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, you guys. Well, thanks so much for coming on. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. This is going to be a tough interview. It is going to be. Because, tough. because yeah, right. <laughs> there's a truck full. Oh, make sure first, first anything. Oh, there's one, there's one guy. I was going to say, I was going to say a truck full of ladies, but I had to look one in here guy, and make sure. One guy. One guy. guy. One, one lucky guy. Look, he's, he's wedged in there with all the ladies. He's a smart one. He's uh, well, a smart one. Yeah. He's no. the smart one. You way. guys, look how, I just put my hand in here and it's so warm. Yes, yes. Trump That's supporters are warm. Like it hot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can I get your name? Zach Craghead. And Zach, why is it you come out today? I come out because of God and Liberty and USA, um, United States of America and my freedoms. It's my freedom to come out and support what I believe in. And yeah. Just raise a little awareness and, and hope you can get some people out there to vote? Yep, get people out to vote and you know, hopefully, yeah. Alrighty, can I get your name? Yeah, it's Mandy Adams. And can you can you tell me what did you come out to do today? I'm um, support Trump. To do the, the the run? Are you guys gonna go all the way to St. George? No, we have to get off in Clearfield. We have a party to do for our boys today, but anything to support him. Yeah. Your responsibilities always get in the way of the stuff you want to do. You know? Yes, <laughs> that's that's the damn truth. <laughs> and I'm. Never say this so anybody can hear it. As a general rule, they're smarter than men anyway. So they you know, smarter. We'll say we'll say smarter. Mm -hmm. so can you guys you guys tell me why are you coming out here and supporting this? We love our country and we love our president and we want him to win again. Trump 2020. <laughs> so are you guys going to make the the trick all the way to St. George or are you going to pull off? I wish we could, but as Trump supporters, we are working people and so we do have to go to work. So no, we're just going to make a short little pilgrimage, but we're here to support our president. We're here to support our country. That's right. With the point of views out there that are on both sides, hopefully they, you know, can see what I see and vote the way that I vote but everybody's got their own opinion that's why it's the United States of America yeah, for sure so are you gonna are you gonna drive all the way to St. George are you cutting off early I'm gonna cut off early it'd be nice to go to St. George but <laughs> be a lot warmer in St. George I'm sure <laughs> correct yes yes it would <laughs> all righty man well hey thank you so much for talking to me I appreciate your time yep thank you appreciate it <laughs> so, so how about you ah same thing I don't Trump support all the way oh it this is the best fit for to run this country and has America's uh, um, best interests at heart. So he's, I mean, he's not a politician. I mean, what better he could ask for being told one thing and then doing another. The man, he's a man of his word. So I feel a lot safer as an American. And I mean, we haven't, he's not in any new wars. And even though before he got put in, he was told that, oh, you're going to get us into another war, you're hot-headed, and he just puts America first, and yeah, we need another four years to keep that th uh, momentum going. All right, can I get your name? Uh, it's Lonnie Curtis. Tanya Curtis. And? And Cashy. <laughs> and so what are you guys here for? We're here to do the Trump rally for the first time ever. So I was just going to ask, you guys ever come on, like, Sundays or anything when they have the people here? No, we... We haven't come. This is our first time. Uh, it's getting right down to the wire, and then it just feel like it's an election that's important, and this one matters. So we're here to lend our support in any way we can. Like I say, smartest people here. And this guy right here, like, how did you gain so much intelligence to be in here with these women? I have no idea. Or, or, or wait, I, you know what it is? I bet it was you were told you're going to come here and hang out, right? I think it was more or less, yeah, my choice. I think I think it was my choice. Oh, good save, my friend. Good save. I mean, I've been married three times. I've got women figured out at this point. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for talking with me. I appreciate it. Very much. Thank you. You. Thanks. Thanks. Have a great day. You know, I, I, I got to be honest because that was one thing that I thought myself was that once Trump gets elected, he's not going to understand the subtleties of other of other countries or other cultures. And he's going to he's just going to be him and say something. 
and it's going to cause us a problem. Sure. You know, yeah. so I guess I was wrong about that. Yeah, yeah and he uh, pulled us out of that Paris Climate Act. I mean, there's uh, the Iran nuclear deal and, you know, the trade deficit with China. I mean, he's getting poked in all sorts of different ways, and that dude just keeps going, and he, he knows what's going to be successful for this country. and. Yeah, I don't, I don't have one bad thing to say about that man. Oh, I, I love that dude. So are, are you going to take the drive all the way to uh, St. George? We're probably not going to go all the way to St. George because we have little kids that are going to be traveling with us. We've, <laughs> yeah. got this, we've got this car next to us, too, that is with us. So we got grandkids and kids. But <laughs> we're going to go as long as we can hang in there and as long as the equipment hangs on the truck. So yeah. we're here well, to have a good time. The, the, the worst is, is the kids. You know they're bored out of their mind. They're like, ugh. <laughs> so I, I couldn't blame for not wanting to be the whole way, right? <laughs> well, we're actually doing this for the kids, so. Uh, yeah, our other little grandson has a Trump shirt on. He's all about Trump. <laughs> it's, you know, the the kids are why we're doing this. I It's not going to matter so much to me, but these young kids, if, if it goes the way it's going, they're not going to know what we have been able to have in our life and what people have died for. And that's why I'm here. I'm here for my grandkids. All righty, guys. Well, thank you so much for talking with me. I appreciate it. Thanks. Okay, you guys have a good day. We'll have fun. When they do the rallies here on Sundays, do you ever come out for those? No. So these gentlemen over here was telling me they come here every Sunday, and they had like 110 of them last week. That's and they, what I heard. Yeah, they go up through uh, Smithfield or Honeyville or that stuff and come to Brigham City, Korean, and back out this way. So, yeah, I think we'll be here next Sunday. Yeah, every, every every Sunday, I have to come check it out. All righty, guys. Well, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. She's videoing back, though. Does, does that count? <laughs> yeah. So. So the little blue is the Trump shirt's over here. If you want to. Oh. He's got a blanket on because it's cold. Yeah, it is cold. But you just it on. <laughs> so can, can I get your name? Um, Casey. And why are you here? I'm like what he said. It's here. F I'm here for the kids because I had. I just you know I don't want them to not have things that we've been able to experience and it's kind of it's kind of scary but seeing all these people here it's actually pretty exciting and you know see the people actually want freedom and not socialism <laughs> Alrighty, and we're going to go over and see his t-shirt right all right show him your t-shirt get out you got to buckle the children in that's the worst part then you got to unbuckle them there he is <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. yeah. Trump 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, guys, cool. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for me. What, what do you think, Stan? I think this is awesome. Talking about waking up middle America, I have a feeling that the Democrats and the liberals are going to be a little bit shocked come November 3rd, and uh, we're going to have four more years. Alrighty, very good. Well, hey, thanks for watching. And once again, if, if there's a, a, a Biden rally or something, by all means, please get a hold of us. We'd love to come talk to you as well, because we're equal opportunity here, Stan. Exactly. And, and it wouldn't take long. There'd probably be one car. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody. Thanks for watching. <laughs>